Hey, what's up? How you doing? Welcome to another reaction video with your big boy buddy Gore, and I'm here to take a look at the official trailer for Unfrosted. Now you're probably like, what is this, Unfrosted? Was that Jerry Seinfeld? What? What's going on? This is, if you do not know, <laughs> it's a Jerry Seinfeld movie. Anyway, so let's get to it. No, that, there's more to it. But you know what, maybe I shouldn't, just in case you don't know what it's about. Because uh, I heard about this a little while ago, I was just like... Because this is his directorial debut, by the way, also, I should say. Jerry Seinfeld. And when I heard what it was about, I was like... Anyway, so <laughs> my head was like... Ugh. Anyway, so uh, let's uh, let's see, let's check it out. <laughs> let's go. You ready? Three, two, one, play! <laughs> Oh my god, we're doing it, we're launching. Oh my god. What is that a toaster? What could be what, come on, what is that? Is that a toaster strudel? Oh my god. I believe we have split the atom of breakfast. That's what I thought that was. In the early 1960s, the American morning was defined by milk and cereal. And the two undisputed giants of the cereal world were Kellogg's and Post. Yeah. Major news from the breakfast world. The Post Cereal Company has reportedly invented a shelf-stable fruit pastry breakfast product. Oh wow. my god. Yeah. Thank god. Dude, change the world. They did it. I'm about to find The madman. Oh. That never stops There's, uh, everyone's favorite comedian. There's always a surprise inside the box. And if they use Xanthan gum, Xanthan. <laughs> Kellogg's is entering the race to reinvent breakfast with the help of Steve Schwinn, Jeff Boyardee, and Jack Lane. They're stacking the deck with ringers. Did he just get canceled? Lamb from Quaker? You Kellogg's people. We're about to have some very powerful. They're all people. dressed up like, oh my god, it's being a big Oh my god, it's Are you making any progress? It's not to scale, but. So it's supposed to be. What are you guys, five years old? It's Bill Burr. Little John John draws better than that. I think there's something wrong with him. <laughs> 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 Who is that? We're talking about happy childhoods for millions of American kids. Pop, it's about the pop stars, bro. Fruit Magoos. What? No. Hit him up and eat him ups. No sale. Oblong nibblers. Is this a joke? <laughs> is this a joke you have? <laughs> <laughs> this is so stupid. First, we're gonna win this thing. Give us the first only! Oh my god! How to get this far. It's breakfast. Things happen. What the fuck was that? <laughs> Isn't this a cereal company? Why did my husband explode? <laughs> what? The... The true story. Oh my god. Yeah, you got Jer Jerry Seinfeld. You'll get people to do anything. Look at that cast. Oh my. Bobby Moynihan! Anyway, Jerry Seinfeld, Melissa McCarthy, of course, Jim Gaffigan. He's in there again. Max Greenfield, Field, Peter Dinklage, Christian Slater, Bill Burr, Dan Levy, James Marsden, Jake McBride. Yeah, I saw him in there too. Thomas Lennon. Yeah, Bobby Moynihan. Bobby Moynihan! Uh, Jerry Adrian Martinez, Sarah Cooper. Mikey Day, Kyle, oh, Kyle Mooney's in that. I must have missed him in the trailer. Drew Tarver, Tony Hale, Felix Solis, Mar Mar Maria Bakalova, who's uh, from Borat, too. Dean Norris, oh, yo, Hank was in there? I didn't even know some. Kyle Dunigan, Sebastian Maniscola, Skulka, whatever. I don't know how to pronounce his name. He's in everything. Beck Bennett, Cedric the Entertainer. Cedric the Entertainer was there? I don't know. Dude, there were so many flashes. Anyway, John Slattery, John Hamm, Hugh Grant, Amy Schumer, Andy Daly, Sarah Burns, the perfect David. I'm not gonna lie, that chair was kind of annoying. <laughs> no, no offense. But I found that to be a really annoying trailer. A really annoying trailer. Um, I guess it was cute when you see like Chef Boardy and you see that Bill Burr in there. You know what? What? I don't know why this reminded me. News from the. I think it's just the vibe of it. Maybe remember that movie? What was it called? The Circle. It was a. It was a Judd Apatow movie where everybody's filming a movie and then like I don't know. It was like made during like COVID or whatever. I. I don't know why it had that vibe to it. Like not the premise or anything. Uh, I don't, I don't know. I don't even, like, that's what I was getting. I mean, it's cute. And post. I guess. News from the breakfast world. The Post Cereal Company has reportedly invented a shelf-stable fruit pastry breakfast product. No. Yeah. Boy. 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 
They did it. I'm about to find them crushed. Jeff again. Big red K that never stops glaring at me. I don't think Post did it. There's always a surprise inside the box. And if they use Xanthem gum, Xanthem. Oh, yeah, I want to see. Uh, yeah, that's the Jack. Oh, that's Bobby Moore. Yeah, <laughs> I could have told us up. There's Jay. They're stacking the deck with ringers. Do you know Isaiah Lamb from Quaker? You Kellogg's people. I just don't really understand. Who is that? Who is that? Somebody. Those people. We're about to have some very, very powerful it's people. Very upset. Hugh Grant. Are you making any progress? Yeah, Hugh, Hugh Grant's making big, like a big comeback. He's been on a bunch of stuff in the last couple of years. Not big things, scale, too. But what are you guys, five years old? <laughs> Little John John draws better than that. <laughs> Little John John. There's something wrong with him. <laughs> 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 now I'm gonna go out there and get assassinated. Nobody said this was gonna be easy. We're talking about happy childhoods for millions of American kids. I love Boomer. The important thing is the name. Fruit Magoos. What? No. Heat him up and eat him ups. No sale. I'm long nibblers. Is this a joke? <clears throat> I usually ask that whenever uh, Melissa McCarthy's trying to be funny in movies. <laughs> Whoever gets to the shelves first is gonna win this. That will be Tony the Tiger, I guess. Huh? Give us the first that's that's the oh, there he is! It's such a good entertainer. I didn't even notice him. He went by so fucking fast. I didn't even notice him. What the fuck? I oh, muted it. Sorry. Immediately when Amy Schumer popped up on screen, I, I hit mute on mistake. I wonder why. I wonder what that means. Isn't this a cereal company? Why did my husband explode? Fuck him. He deserved to die. And I hope he burns in hell. I don't know. I mean, it could, it could be it could be good. I mean, the trailer was, again, kind of annoying to me. I don't know. I'm not like a big Jerry Seinfeld fan, though, also. And also, the, even though the cast is big, there's a lot of people in there that I, I don't have much feelings for. You know, like, even though I make the Bobby Moynihan joke, I don't really care. I don't really like Jerry Seinfeld. I don't really like Amy Schumer. I don't really like her. Um, uh, I do like Bill Burr. Uh, and actually, when Melissa, McCarth when Melissa McCarthy is in a good role, is it Cartney or Carthy? No, no, no. Um... She's good, you know, and she was very good in, um, in, um, I don't know if anybody watched it, uh, Could You Ever Forgive Me, I think it was called, um, she was fucking really good in that movie, but, and she's even good, like, St. Peter, wait, not St. Peter, St. Vincent, St. Vincent, is that the one with Bill Murray? Yeah, she's good in that, I think that was, yeah, that was definitely her, um, I don't know, she just needs less dumb shit like this, I mean, this is less dumb shitty than, like, other things she's done, um, I, I, I forgot she was in Little Mermaid, actually. Yeah, she was alright yeah, in that. Um, I don't know. Anyway, that's it. That's, uh, the unfrosted official trailer. Um, there you go. Bye!